That's not Vandenberg, Tessa. That's Slick 40. Crew access tower, dude. See it? What percentage is the tower at? It needs one more section. One more section up here, and then there's a... They're building a crew access arm somewhere. If I had to guess, it's probably at the uh, Hangar X. Or maybe, no, not Hangar X. It's... Yeah, it could be Hangar X. Who knows? Man. That's just weird looking. I'm... Launch director says go. I am not used to... That's weird, dude. The camera, these, these cameras are different, dude. I don't remember these shots. I, I, I still think that, Tessa. Yeah, here we go. Sound suppressor should be activating now. Sound suppressors are on. Green flash. There it is. Ignition, engine's full power, and lift off of Starlink 619. Go Starlink, go Falcon. 619 is in the air. Dude, look at that. Vehicle pitching down range. The Lieber 11,000, you see that? At 1D chamber pressures are nominal. Propulsion officer reports nominal nine engines. Okay. Should be getting a power and telemetry call at T plus 43 seconds. Power and telemetry nominal. It came at 46, but that's okay. What is the green flash? It's the pyrophoric igniters flask. The Falcon 9 uses triethyl aluminum and triethyl borane. They're a pyrophoric igniter fluid. Basically, they shoot that into the gas generator and they flood the gas generator with liquid oxygen. When the TATB hits that liquid oxygen, it explodes. When it, when it chemically combines with liquid oxygen, it blows up. That's the uh, jump start. That's the starter motor for, for, the, for the rocket engine. So that green flash that you see is them firing all the engines up. It's it's start it's quite literally starting fluid. <laughs> Starter fluid. <laughs> it's ignition fluid. <laughs> Sounds fake, right? The SR seventy one used the same thing in manner for the light for relighting the J fifty eight. Yep. For J fifty eight reignition post subsonic. Uh the SR seventy one for its flight, the engines needed to be turning on on the ground, right? And then they shut off the J fifty eight, and it uses the bypass for supersonic, right? And then when it comes back down, they got to turn the engines back on. They use T tab for it. Yeah, um, pretty cool. The SR seventy one engines were started on the ground with two small block Chevy or two big block Chevys uh, made to do a common drive shaft going up into the engine. Yeah, it's called a start cart. Really good stuff. Stand by for main engine cutoff here. We're looking up the business end of the second stage. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Good set. And back ignition. M1 vac. M1 D vacuum or M vac ignition is good. Admit it, you really want one of those start carts? I offered to fix Intrepid start cart to get it running, but they said no. They didn't want it fixed. Why is the video so crappy? Uh, X. Fairing separation. Fairing now. separation confirmed. Why night? Yeah, they, SpaceX has been launching a lot at night because they're working on the launch pad during the day. Why did SpaceX stop live streaming to YouTube? Because they wanted more people to show, they want to try to show off X's live streaming capability, which is kind of strange because it's 360p, the, yeah. 
In real life, Terminator. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. <laughs> nice. Fallout 76 is doing an Atlantic City map releasing soon. It may have been retrofitted, Knockworks, I don't know. AOS through Bermuda. They are streaming on XONSF can get more views on YouTube. Yeah. I just hope they don't cease and desist us over at NSF. That would really suck. Okay, coming up on the best part here. So, oh, they changed the shot. If you if we get another shot looking down the down the first stage where you can see the grid fins on the first stage, you can see the moonlight. The moonlight is lighting the clouds, which is really cool. Yeah, see, look, you can see the moonlight on the clouds. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, that was the, uh... That's lightning. Heat lightning. A little bit. Part of it is the attitude control systems, though. The ACS. Falcon 9 has pressurized nitrogen thrusters up there to keep the booster straight. So when it hits the atmosphere, it hits it business end first. The reason why they want the rocket engines up at the front is because of what's about to happen here. Three... Two. No, no, no. Five. Stage one. Four. Three. Two. One. Stage one ignition. Startup. Sorry, got my timing off a little bit. So what the engines are doing there? They're firing the engines into the reentry heating, and the gases that coming out that are coming out of the engines are the heat shield for Falcon Nine. That's why they needed to steer it correctly that way. Supersonic retro propulsion. Never gets old. That's the heat shield. The engine exhaust is the heat shield. It's the best part. It's a guide rod, Aerodyte, yes. Now you'll see a little bit of plasma scoring on the grid fins right there. Yes, that's what that is. No, this isn't sci-fi. That's actual plasma accumulation on the grid fins. What happens is, is that the grid vids are designed to steer the air at hypersonic speeds. That does cause compression. That compression ionizes gases. That's why you see plasma scoring on the grid fins. The grid fins won't melt, though. They're, they're cast titanium. They're not melting. Yeah, one-piece cast titanium grid fins. First stage made it through the flamey stuff. This will be the 10th uh, landing for this booster. Stage one transonic. That's the drone ship on the left side underneath the grid fin. Stage one is below the speed of sound. Stage two is on a nominal trajectory. Yeah. Air do be like that, Tessa. Yeah. Two miles off the deck. Stage two is in terminal guidance. One mile off the deck. Okay, she gonna punch through the clouds here. Drone ship should be coming into. Up oh, there we go. Stage one landing like deploy. And ah, you should see the purge down on the engines down there. Pumping helium through the motors to get out the liquid fuel and the oxidizer out. Easy. Todd Howard does it again. It just works. It just works, okay? 
it just works. Oh, there's the call for second stage engine cutoff here. We should hear a call for nominal orbit insertion. Or, or they'll just end the cast. You know, that works. How rocket orientation at night? Radar, Iliad. Falcon 9 has radar. It's looking for the drone ship. It has a downward facing radar. Or you could just stop, whatever. With this landing of 1069, nice. .10, it has marked the 46th landing on the drone ship, a short fall of Gravitas. 46, dude. No love for the second stage, I swear. Easy. GG, <laughs> easy, no worry. All right, let's finish up Vulture.